So I'm doing my shipping and I thought that it would be a helpful video to show you guys how I manage my shipping. So here's my Excel spreadsheet and I keep track of everything that I've sold and everything in yellow is what I've sold and um, then the white is what I still need to ship and over and I just make like little notes like someone bought this G clay and they paid a hundred dollars down so I keep track of how much they owe me and um, when did they order when did I order the print um, so that I can kind of keep track oh that's been waiting since the 17th to be shipped I need to get that out so um, and then because my prints are all limited editions I keep track of what number they are this is what I need to ship today the white ones so here's the Greyhound that I sold and I just click on print shipping label. I always ship first class for anything under a, like 13 ounces. Above that you have to ship priority. I have to put in number of ounces. For these it's 12 ounces because I actually ship 8 by 10s flat. So they're actually more expensive to ship than my bigger prints because my bigger prints I roll them. So that's $3.29. Click confirm and buy. Kitty's going to show you where I keep my prints. It's just a closet in my upstairs hall. So I keep my prints here and I also have my shipping envelopes and these are like cardboard shipping envelopes I buy them off Amazon or eBay or wherever I can find them cheapest so this is the smaller one for 8x10 and then I stick that inside this slightly larger one and that seems to work well for my little 8x10 prints so I kinda double um, envelope them with this these cardboard envelopes so that works well and then for anything over 8x10 I usually just ship it in um, a tube and I buy these off eBay too. The next thing I do with my shipping ritual is sign the print. So I go to my Excel spreadsheet and find which, I figure out which number and this one is 25, Greyhound number 25. So I'm just going to 25 out of a thousand Rachel Parker. For signing my prints I use this Sharpie pen with a finer point. This is a ballpoint which I really like it but they're hard to find so. So Mr. Greyhound is all signed and numbered. So I'm going to put him in the first little cardboard envelope and I just close that and then next cardboard envelope and this doesn't have a little sticky seal which I wish it did but I'll use um, clear tape and I like this um, duck brand like quack quack duck brand and it's just really cheap but it's I actually like it better than the thicker tapes because it um, I don't know it's more pliable it sticks better somehow so I'll just do that This is my shipping friend. I use this a ton to tear tape and all sorts of stuff. So. Okay. And then I'm going to put... I, oops. There we go. Unpeel the label. And stick it on there. And then it's ready to go. So that's how I ship my 8x10s. So when you have them... Um, all uh, printed and ready to go. You can put them in your mailbox if they fit 
or you can schedule a pickup, that's what they like you to do, or you can just take them in to the post office and just put them on the counter. You don't even have to stand in line, you just put them on the counter or you put them in that little, in my post office they have a little dumpster thing and you can just, um, you can just put them in there and drop them off. Um, and if you buy online, actually on all the um, outlets, um, PayPal, USPS, Etsy, eBay, they all offer online cheaper shipping rates. And I guess that's because you're not using their postal employees' time. So it saves them money and it saves you money, so it's great. So I ship the Greyhound and I can color that one yellow because he's done. But what if you're shipping, like, say, an 8 by 10 and something larger? Like this is a 10 by 12. Um, this would be a $50 order and I do free shipping and I just offer that as an incentive. People like that, um, that I'm offering free shipping. So, um, you know, my prints are $25 for this quality. This is like poster quality prints. For G clays, my G clays start at like $50 for an 8 by 10. So um, I definitely ship those priority no matter what. But these are 25 each. So if someone buys two or more, I'll give them a higher level of shipping priority. And usually they're going to be a heavier order anyway. And if it's over a pound, you have to ship priority. So what I like to do is use these little priority shipping boxes. And I cut them down with a knife. And Sadie wants to say hi. Hi, Sadie. And I cut them down and ship things flat with this size order, with like a order of two or more prints. What do you think about that, Sadie? I'm going to cut this. And I'm actually going to cut this to the size of the box that I use, and I'll show you that. So. You can only use priority boxes when you are shipping priority. It is illegal to use them unless you ship priority, which I'm going to ship priority with this order. Okay, so that's cut down to size. You can then put them, the prints in there like that. Then I use this, it's, it's kind of pliable but it's the same thing as my smaller 8x10 um, envelopes and I just stick this in here like that and sometimes I'll cut another one and I'll just see how stiff it is so that's pretty good and then I close it up and seal it up and put the label on and this will be good to go while we're at it, I might as well show you where I go on USPS.com to order these free boxes. So here's the USPS.com website. And you can go to, let's see, I even have to look. Probably, you go to Mail and Ship, and when you hover over it, it has this menu come down order stamps and supplies click then free shipping supplies yes I want to click on well I want priority mail but they'll there will be free shipping supplies in this too and then you have all these boxes to choose from note this is flat rate you do not want that that will be extra money the ones that I like is number 1095 here it is 1095 and this is how it looks if you actually use it the way it's supposed to but so I'm gonna click on it so you can order it in a pack of 10 I like to get the 25 quantity one add to cart and then just check out as you notice the total is zero they don't even charge you shipping check out